Hello, welcome to another video. I'm by Noisy Wheel. The day started badly, riding the bike along the shore of Lake Karun and went out from these bushes appeared a snake. Avoiding the snake would have probably have caused me to crash the bike, so unfortunately I rode over him. He seemed okay at first, but I noticed a kink in his back where my wheel hit him. Before our eyes, he drew his last breath. Still, the water wheels won't film themselves. Let's go. Uh, recently arrived in Fayoum. Just met Mahmoud from FayoumEgypt.com. Uh, works for the tourist board here. Uh, great find, knowing him. But before we go to these water wheels, we need some lunch. on Wikipedia, the centre of the city is on the canal with four water wheels that were adopted by the Governor of Fayoum as its symbol. Oh, I think it might have stopped actually. However, something went a bit wrong with my recording. On a good day they look a bit like this, but sadly at the moment they're in need of a little bit of repair. So, onward. We pressed on through Fayoum, passing Egypt's oldest obelisk, Leaving the city, we made our way out into the villages in the search of these water wheels. Fayoum is one of 29 governors, and at one time, the whole area was one big lake. The area was drained for agriculture, with two valleys that lead into Lake Karoo. We had to pass through one of these valleys, and oh my goodness me, what a view. Possibly the most beautiful view I have seen in Egypt. So we still had some way to go and time would not wait for us. We stopped to take a look at this little guy. He's not the main star of the show, but he's quite cute. So we stopped for some pictures. And the local kids stopped for some pictures too. So I'm in a little village uh, in Fayoum, or near Fayoum. Um, can't remember the name of the village. And uh, I've absolutely no idea where I've come from, where I've gone. I had Mahmoud on the back of my bike telling me which way to go. So the whole of Fayoum used to be, many years ago, a one big lake, but uh, it was drained uh, in order to reclaim the land for agriculture. Um, but then they needed irrigation canals, which you see here. Um, and the water needed to be lifted out of those canals uh, and into the fields. So the Romans brought these, um, brought these wheels. Um, I believe they're called satyas here. Um, I looked them up as norias, but norias are the Syrian word. We had the fortune to go to Syria before the troubles to a, a town called Hama, and they have these wheels, very famous for these wheels, and they call them norias there. They grown just like this, and the design was just like this. Um, and I just think it's brilliant. And this one is still being used today for its original purpose. This is the biggest one in the area. There's no ceremony here. There's no sign marking it. The biggest water wheel in Egypt. Nothing, just there it is, in the middle of a village, by a railway line. So you can see it's uh, powered by the water and the water goes into these little boxes around the rim, gets lifted up and then drops into the trough at the top and then is carried along this pipe here up to the trough up there and off. Very simple, but it works. Apparently they have to be rebuilt every seven years because they, uh, they deteriorate. The job of building the new wheel belongs to a family carpentry business in the village who have been building this wheel for generations. 
When it's time to replace the wheel, there's great ceremony. The wheel is paraded through the streets, carried by hand. It would make a lot of sense to use a crane, but no. The removal of the old wheel and the installation of the new is all done manually. If you like what you've seen, please hit the like button. And if you want to stick around for more of the same next week, another fame video, uh, please hit subscribe. Until next time, shukran, masalama, Robin and Maiku.